In this video, I'm going to talk about creating a um, drawing of a home. Okay, let's get started. So note that every single thing in this home, right? Every, everything that I pointed out here, it's a line. So all these are lines, okay? So that's good to know. And we know how to draw lines. Okay, let's um, let's talk about this. That this is y, this one's x, and uh, over here is the origin, zero zero, right? And so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so let's do this line over here. Hmm, okay, so that's going to go, um, so what type of line is that? That's horizontal or vertical? Horizontal, right? So that's probably Y, right? Y is equal to zero, right? And it goes from what? From four to eight, right? X goes from four to eight, okay? All right, so Y is equal to zero. Why is that? Because any time, right? If I, very quickly, if I go X and Y, Y is four, five, six, seven, and eight, and zero for Y. All the answers for Y is zero. So four zero is going to be right here. Five zero, six zero, seven zero, eight zero, right? Okay. So if you need more help on that, watch my other video on lines. Okay. This one right here, we should be able to do as well. We're going to need the Y's here, though. One, two, three, four, five. Right? That's five. So, okay. So it looks like it's four. Looks like it's going to be Y is equal to four, right? Because it's going to be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You see that? Y... Is always going to be four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Right? And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to locate the points. Okay, I'm going to erase that here so it can look a little bit better. Okay, so y is equal to four. Okay, and it's bounded by what? Right, from here to there, so that's 4 to 8, right? X is bounded, Y is bounded between 4 and 8, right? X between 4 is less than or equal to X, less than or equal to 8, okay? Okay, that's great. And now, um, let's change colors. Let's do, uh, let's do, I don't know, blue or something. Let's deal with um, these, right? Let's deal with that one first. That's vertical or horizontal, right? It's vertical, right? So vertical means it's going to be x is equal to something. x is equal to 8, right? And it starts down here at 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4, right? So it goes from 0 to four, right? It's bounded that way. Okay. Mm. Let's try this one, right? We'll, we'll draw it over here. This one is X is equal to what number? That's right, four. And it's bounded by Y. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, from 0 to 4, okay, there we go, okay, so that's the box, right, and that's the, that's the front, now we need the roof, uh, let's try a different color here, I don't know, maybe gray, so how do we do these, well, one thing that I did when I was drawing this house, I drew these lines, right, I drew this line, um, by um, 
through the diagonal of each square, right? If we keep going here, right? If I extended this out, it would hit right here. And that would have a Y intercept, right? Of what? Zero, right? So B is equal to zero. We also know that the slope here is one because it goes up one, run one, 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 up one, run one right? Okay, so, so y is equal to mx plus b, right? And we know the slope is zero plus, we know the slope is one, right? One x equals y. So y is equal to x, right? And it's bounded from here to here, right? So x controls it, right? X controls it. It goes from, what's that? One, two. From two till, what's it? Here, 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 here. That seems like it's going to be... What, five, right? Five. Okay. All right, that looks that looks good. Okay. And then, uh, let's try another color here. Maybe, I don't know, black. Let's try black. Let's do this one now, right? Now, if you see, it looks like it's extending itself. Oh, no. We don't have enough room. It looks like it's going to extend itself somewhere up there. Now, I don't have enough graph paper, so what else can I do? Well, I can I can go and do a couple of other things. I know this dot right here, and I know this dot, and um, we can easily find the slope, or we can easily do it with the rise over the run right so look we run we go down we run go down run go down run go down that has a slope of negative one um again watch my video the previous videos on the slope it's pretty straightforward but the y-intercept is going to be tough right but the cool thing is um we can use y is equal to mx plus b, right? As long as I have a point and a slope, I can find b. So do I have a point? Mm, I have uh, this point right here, right? This point. So let's see. That's going to be what? One, two, three, four, five, six. That looks like it's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. It looks like it's six, six. Okay. So, so that's my point, right? This one's x, this one's y. So y is six is equal to the slope of negative one times six plus what? B. So six is equal to negative six plus B, right? And add six and add six. That's going to be 12 is equal to B. Can that be right? Well, let's see. That's five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Well, maybe there was, um, maybe there was enough room. Look at that. You didn't have to do that calculation, right? Well, again, I was just probably estimating. I wasn't keeping a great eye. Oh, you know what happened probably? Because I shrunk it here. See, I did have more graph paper. I didn't know that. Okay. I double checked on my work anyway. Turned out to be great. So my slope, so this is going to be y is equal to negative 1x plus 12. Right? Here's my slope, and this is my y intercept. Or y is equal to negative, or yeah, negative x plus 12. And it's bounded, right? How? From what's that? 4, 5, 6. From 6 till down here 10 right less than or equal to less than or equal to wow that seems a lot 
right? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put it inside of decimals and find out if that works. Okay, so let's see if we can draw the home. We go y is equal to zero. Then let's do the curly brackets. Okay, let's see, curly brackets. And we go from four and then less than or equal to x, less than or equal to eight. And then close the brackets. And there's our line right there. You can barely see it, can you? Let's do uh, y is equal to, let's do the top now, right? y is equal to 4. And we're going to have the same curly bracket. This time it's going to be 4, less than or equal to x, less than or equal to 8. Curly bracket, okay. And now you got the top. All right, so x is equal to 4, right? So we got a vertical line, and it's going to be going from what? 0, right? y from y is going to be from 0 to what? 4, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Close it. OK, there's a side. And then x is equal to 8, right? Another line curly bracket and that one's going to go from what and if we look at our notes it goes from zero less than or equal to uh, y less than or equal to what four close it okay there's our box and then we need the roof the roof is y is equal to x and you can see it's touching right there on the diagonal but it's the line is um, fixed, right? From 2 through what? From 2 through 5. Close the bracket. Okay. Is it 5? Or is it 6? Hmm. It's 6. Okay. So we have a mistake here. And that's good. I mean... These things happen. We found it. This goes to six. We didn't count right. One, two, three, four, five, six. There it is, six. I should have seen it because this also starts at six. Okay, so I got that error. So that's really six. Okay. And then we're going to go with y is equal to what minus x plus 12 and it's bounded by what 6 is less than or equal to what x less than or equal to 10 let's find out all right that looks good okay and there's your home don't forget to subscribe <laughs> And also watch my how to draw, how to draw a line video. Click right here. Or um, find out what the, what's the deal with the rise over the run. What's that all about, right? It's kind of like slope stuff. So please subscribe and watch my other videos. Thank you.